Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an ASUS laptop. This is an ASUS ROG Strike G16, uh, it's a 2023 model. The exact model is an ASUS G614J model. And in this video, I'm going to take you on a step-by-step -step how you can freshly install the Windows from the USB boot drive. I made a short video how to create your Windows 10 or Windows 11 USB boot drive. I'll leave that link in the video description. For the Windows 10, just instead of typing Windows 10, type Windows 11. It's the same process to create Windows 11 boot drive. In this case, we're going to install the Windows 10 because it's still much stable than Windows 11 and less uh, issues with programs. Maybe in the future, they will uh, format this one to Windows 11 once it's stable. Uh, the reason I make this video is because once you install the Windows 10 or 11, the way that it's supposed to be installed, all the next and next steps, you will get end up with lots of bloatware installed in your system, like a McAfee trial version, Candy Crush, and many other uh, programs. I'm going to show you a really trick, easy way to install the Windows without all those extra bloatware. And let's get into it. Let's get it started. First thing first, we have upgraded this hard drive to a two terabyte storage. And we're going to plug in the USB boot drive in there. You need to use an external mouse for this model because the trackpad will not work until you start doing a Windows update. So I'll put my little cardboard box here, a USB mouse pad, a USB mouse, plug in the USB, power on, and it will automatically start booting up from the USB. So I'll put it on a tilt mode here a little bit. So, just wait a few seconds. The boot up is a little bit slow here. And it's going to detect the USB Windows installation and it's just going to start. I'm going to install in a Spanish version, but the same thing applies. I'll take you through step by step in English what I'm clicking at. All right, so we get the Spanish here. The trackpad is not working. So, we're going to get that with the Windows installation. Choose your language, click next, click in the middle, install now. And then you're going to come up with the, in here you want to click, I don't have a product key, just click on that even. Don't worry about it, you just, the Windows is going to install, it's going to activate, it's based on the motherboard, just click I don't have a product key. Uh, I accept the terms and licensing, read it if you want to, click next. In here is very important that you want to click on the bottom one here. Don't click on the top. Click on personalized, customized. Where it says customized, click on that one on the bottom here. The two section, top section on the bottom. You want to click on the bottom. And in here you're going to see a whole bunch of uh, partition you may see. Or you might see only one if you install a new one. Whatever you see in here you want to delete. Always delete everything until you see one that you can't delete anymore. And it's a one whole unit. It's a two terabyte, 1,800 gigs. And you just want to click next. You don't want to click new. Just click next. And it's just going to take you through the installation really quickly. And it's going to do one or twice restart. And it's going to take you to a welcome screen. So I'm just going to wait here until it takes me to the uh, welcome screen. It should be really fast on this model within a couple of minutes. I'm going to fast forward this part until I get to the uh, welcome screen. All right, it did its first restart. And it's gonna take you to the welcome screen. You're gonna click next. You're gonna put password and a few other stuff. All right, now that we are in the welcome screen, it just says one moment and it's gonna get you to the, put the name for your laptop and choose you want your region i'll choose mexico for the client and keyboard layout just leave it the way it is and click uh, skip in here is very important make sure you don't have, you're not connected with a wi-fi with a cable anything to the computer just click i don't have internet even if you have a list in here just click i don't have internet it's very important you don't want to connect to the internet 
and click on a limited configuration link on the left side and put the name for the laptop everything and it should take you to the screen and now you should be inside the desktop Right. Once you are in the desktop, what you want to do, you don't want to connect to the internet or anything like that. You just want to go to the start menu and you're going to see these arrows right in here. And there's a whole bunch of tiny arrows in here. These are the shortcuts that are waiting for you to have internet access so you can get downloaded. These are the promotional programs. To in, so for them to not to download, just right click on them and click on link them. Just click them and unlink, unpin them. And once you unpin all of them, this way, once you are um, connected to the internet, you're not going to get them downloaded right away. And right now, remember, uh, right now the Wi-Fi is not going to work in here. So you have two options. Connect it with the RJ45 cable to the, to the laptop, to the modem, and download, the, do the Windows update. You go to Windows configuration and Windows update, and you can download all the drivers automatically and will install. If you don't have the... Cable to connect it, you can buy a USB, an external USB adapter. You can plug it in here and you can connect it using the USB, external USB uh, Wi Fi. And then you can do Windows update and it will install all the drivers for you. I hope this video helped you guys out. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a the video comment. I'll try to answer them as much as, as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next videos.